In this video, I am going to make a doorbell cover to protect my new doorbell from all day weather by using 3D printing technology. Alright, let's get started. After received the parcel, I started having a quick look and seeing what was inside the box. A receiver, doorbell, 3M sticker and screws. That was all. Now, I am looking at the doorbell shape and measuring the size to do the next steps. I will bring this information to the iPad Pro and open Shaper 3D. Shaper 3D is an intuitive CAD tool built to make 3D modeling easier and quicker on the iPad. This is my first time I use Shaper 3D to build a model. If you are familiar with using Fusion 360, SolidWorks or CAD software, then Shaper 3D is similar to those softwares. However, you need to use an Apple Pencil rather than a finger to draw. I like the way Shaper 3D gives you suggestions when you finish a step. For example, after I draw a rectangle on the plane and click to the surface, it gives me an option for extrude. After I extrude the 3D shape and I click the edges, it gives me a chamfer option which makes the process much easier. It also pops up videos to teach you when you go to certain points. For a beginner, this is very impressive. You can just follow those videos to learn how to do your own design. Now the doorbell model has been built, I can use this template to actually link to the cover design. As Shaper 3D has a layer option which I can easily hide the doorbell model and focus on the design. It is very easy to build the model with the template. I can finish the design using only 2-3 to three steps. Because I have already drawn the doorbell, I can show both objects and have a look what it actually looks like. Now, I need to mention one more thing. This is a free version app which means you need to pay the subscription to unlock more options on it. In this free version, you can only save up to two designs and export a low polygon model for 3D printing. Once I am happy with the results, I export a STL file and bring it to the Slicer software. With the Slicer software it is simple. Just put the model on the printing bed and generate a G-code file. The G-code file cuts the model into slices and tells the printer how to move. The exciting part is watching the 3D printer drawing layers one by one. After the model has printed, I check it with the doorbell and see whether it fits. However, it seems that the hole is a little bit smaller. Since I don't want to print it again, I quickly use a drill to sand it bigger. Now, the doorbell fits.
Lastly, I put the doorbell cover at the front door. It looks nice and workable. I am very happy the result. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more designs or creative stuff, please click the subscribe button. Thanks again.